You're watching and listening to the third annual WXIN Radio versus the Anchor Newspaper Basketball Game. Here on 90.7 WXIN-FM, Rhode Island College Radio, Providence, and Anchor TV. Good evening and welcome to the Rec Center here at Rhode Island College in the city of Providence, where tonight it's the third annual WXIN Radio versus the Anchor Newspaper Basketball Tournament. Good evening again, everyone. I'm Nick Lima, joined by my co-host and color man, Nigel Evangelista, and he's a man full of color. Nigel, how are you? I'm doing well tonight. How are you doing, Nick? I'm doing pretty, not too bad myself. You played in this game last year. You know what the stakes are here. We're talking about two of the largest student organizations on campus, the radio station and the newspaper. A rivalry has existed between these two groups for the better of 30 years, and that rivalry comes to a head tonight in this third annual game of which the anchor has a 2 to nothing series lead. Why don't you just ask the question there? Well, maybe. What do you think? <laughs> I think you should ask the question then. My personal opinion, you want my personal opinion on this rivalry now. My personal opinion is that I think the anchor is going to take it to him again tonight. Even though I played on XIN, XIN last year, I just, to be honest with you, XIN is in bad shape. They are all fat and overweight and obese. They cannot make it the whole game. So you heard it first from a former XIN team member as part of the uh, WXIN defeat last year. Now this tournament started in 2007, continued in 2008, was delayed a couple of weeks this year, but uh, the radio station and the newspaper were able to acquire the recreation center behind us for tonight's basketball game. Again, I'm Nick Lima, joined by Nigel Evangelista. Nigel and I will be back momentarily with the pregame interviews and the full pregame show next, right here on 90.7 WXIN, Rhode Island College Radio, and Anchor TV. Stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Nigel Evangelista, and I'm here with Cameron Spalding, the captain of the Anchor Squad tonight. How you doing tonight, Cameron? Oh, we're feeling good. We're ready to go. We're a little out of shape, but I think everybody's going to be out of shape tonight. Uh, it's going to be ugly out there. Now, I, I have my money on you guys tonight because I feel that XIN is extremely out of shape. we got everybody who's obese on that squad. Now, how are you feeling about tonight's game? How, how, how do you feel? How, how well do you think you're going to match up against them tonight? I think we're going to match up good. I think we're definitely a little bit smaller. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to have to keep the game up pace, and I think we'll be all right. Try to keep the ball out of Mike's hands as much as possible. All right, now let's talk about the history. You guys got two games up on them from the last two years. Last year, they sent you to the hospital, but you still won. Now, how do you feel about this year? There, there, there's been some talks that you might be going back to the hospital this year. How do you feel about that? Uh, maybe I will be. Maybe I won't be. I don't know. That's up to them. They can decide that for you. We'll find out in a little while. I would like not to. I don't even have health insurance. Uh, I didn't last year either. I'm still paying for that. That was like two grand. So I'd really like to not go, but it could happen. All right. Well, thank you so much. Good luck to you tonight. Thank you. And we'll be back after this. And welcome back here to the Rec Center. Nick Lima now joined by the general manager of WXIN Radio, Michael McKenna. Michael, how are you? Good, Nick. How are you? Very well. And you're the captain for this XIN squad here facing the anchor for the third time, though your team is 0-2 in the past two seasons. Yeah, we uh, you know had some tough loss last year and the year before, same thing. Um, but I don't see it being that way tonight. What's your strategy of attack against this anchor squad this year? Uh, a lot more substitution. we got a good 10-man squad, so we're going to go rotate through the guys pretty regularly, keep everybody fresh. Last year's game, uh, you got a lot of players coming back from last year. Uh, Meatball Freitas, you got Luscious Levi Garrett and yourself, and among others, including the boss, Chris Bonanno. Uh, taking a lot of three-point shots that were unsuccessful was uh, probably the downfall of the team. You, you're telling your players to go for more twos? This year, yeah, we're going to pull away from the outside shot. We're going to do a lot more penetration work, uh, getting the ball down low to the big guys. We've got a bigger squad on, all in all. So uh, we're going to try and play on that a little bit more this year. The stakes have been high each of the last couple of years with uh, free meals uh, on the plate for the winner. Uh, of course, to be paid for by the loser. Is there anything on the plate this year, or is it just a game for fun? Uh, as of right now, it's still a game for fun, but we're still a half hour away from game time, so anything could happen. Michael McKenna, the captain of the WXI team. Good luck in right, tonight's hey, game. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. And we'll be back in a moment as we continue next here on Anchor TV and 90.7 WXIN. Back here now at the rec center, now joined by the head coach of the WXIN basketball team, Nate Chris. Nate, how are you doing today? Good, you, Nick. I'm doing very well, and I'm sure you have a plan of attack to handle this anchor squad. Uh, we do. We're going to try to uh, slowly kill the clock. You know, no shot clock today, so I guess we're just going to use our big men down low. We got a great, some, we get uh, great outside three pointers. 
shooting, leading by Michael McKenna, Rui Matia, both co-captains, great guys. Couldn't ask for a better squad to them tonight. Who's your assistant coach for this ballgame? Uh, Mr. Jerry Bebal. He's a uh, four-year starter from Mount Pleasant High School. Played there all four years, starting varsity, starting center, though the championship Mount Pleasant team, so the late to the early 2000s, I would say. So. And coach, you have a little background yourself in basketball coaching as well as here at Island College. Been a student here for quite some time, and you've seen this anchor versus Exxon rivalry firsthand over the course of the last decade. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, Looking at it, you get a pie there. Uh, yeah, I'm a uh, student assistant coach at Thomas College for uh, three seasons, and I also coached at St. Peter's School for two seasons as assistant coach there. So uh, my first head coaching opportunity, looking forward to it, and uh, basically just looking for a great game tonight. All right, Coach, good luck in tonight's ball game. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment next here with our pregame show on Anchor TV and 90.7 WXIN. Welcome back here now at the rec center with the starting lineups for tonight's game. Well, actually, the full rosters for each team. First, the visiting uh, anchor team here in this third of this series, uh, an annual basketball game between these two student organizations on campus. Cameron Spaulding is number one at guard. Uh, guard for Joe Robillard, number four. Number nine, Bobby Kazarian. Andrew Augustus is guard, and I'm wearing number 12 out of Bristol, Rhode Island. Bobby Kazarian out of Providence, Rhode Island. Joe Robillard hails from Cranston. And Cameron Spaulding comes on the furthest on the anchor team with the exception of one, Spaulding from Argyle, New York. Continuing down with the anchors raster, Matt Boyden Wilson comes the farthest by far. He's from London, United Kingdom. Boyden Wilson wearing number seven of four tonight. Hayden Fox Coach James, they call him Hayden James, number three, God Ford from New Hampshire. Dave Matriciano wears number 54 from West Haven, Connecticut. And Mike Simeone is wearing number eight from East Providence, Rhode Island. Barry Nickerson wears number 69 from Johnston, Rhode Island. And Zach Hines wears number 8739. He is from Providence. Nigel Evangelista has the starting lineups for the WXIN squad. Nigel? Hey, thank you. Chris Bonanno, wearing number seven, will be playing forward. Rob Duguay, wearing number nine, will be playing forward as well. Michael Freitas, guard forward, will be wearing number 11. Luscious Levi Garrett will be wearing number 52. That is his way. <laughs> Why are you turning down my mic? <laughs> 52 is his waist size, and that is he will be a forward slash center. Zach Kahn, Mr. Rick this year, wearing number eight. It will be a guard forward. Rui, Young Che, yes, everybody's favorite DJ on WXIN, will be wearing number five, guard slash forward. Mike Seamus McKenna, wearing number 21, that is right, he's legal drinking age. It will be a guard forward, too. Raphael, yes, the biggest whore on campus. <laughs> 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 he is I don't know if you can say that. I can say that now. We're wearing number 3.14. Yes, that is pie, and he don't be eating that. All right. He be God slash forward. Tyrus Carruthers wearing number three is a forward, and Jesus Mendoza, number 25, is a guard tonight. And the starters for WXIN, Rui Martier, number five. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. He'll be joined on the court by Michael Freitas, Mike McKenna, Jesus Mendoza, and Levi Garrett. They're starting five. Uh, we get to receive word on the starting five of the anchor, but of course we'll know when uh, the tip-off here is in just about 20 minutes. Less than that if you're watching live here on 90.7 WXIN, Ustream, and www.rickrio.org, as well as on Anchor TV, live or on tape delay. We welcome our viewers from all across the Rhode Island College campus and all over the world online at rickradio.org. Nigel, we are looking forward to a outstanding game today. Yes, we are. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing their head coach of the anchor tonight. I, I would love to meet this guy. They have Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior tonight as their head coach. They, they must be a religious bunch because they have listed Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, as the head coach of the anchor basketball team. So, hey, we'll see if... Uh, Mr. Christ decides to show up and uh, grace us with his presence <laughs> at tonight's ball game. Who knows? <laughs> oh, ridiculous. Um, what do you think about the starting five of WXIN? I, I have to say, alone, Rui and Levi. Now, you know I love them both. Well, you know, they've, are, they've are got some power. About 
You, you got to figure what the strategy might be. Remember last year where we had a very hard fought game. We had uh, we had each of the uh, um, you know teams battling back and forth with a very very physical nature about it. Yes. And you know Cameron Spalling went down, broken arm. Yes. We had other injuries to Mike McKenna, other injuries with you know pulled tendons and whatnot. Yes. Maybe their strategy of putting both. Rui Martina and Levi Garrett in the starting five is to basically rough up the ankle a little bit and show them that they mean business tonight. Yeah, I, I, I would totally agree with that. I mean, they said it. They're going, there will be blood tonight. I guarantee it. And of course, this is in the NBA. If we see blood, we keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. I, I hope to see some blood. And they got some chunky bunches on the anchor, too. I don't know how they're going to match up. This is going to be a slow, slow paced game. Well, they the stamina <laughs> is not in. The endurance is not in. They are, they are one-minute men tonight out here. <laughs> Just like to take this opportunity to remind you that our pregame show is brought to you by New to You Resale Shop. New to You in Pawtucket and Central Falls. Stop by New to You today. Buy LaSalle Pizza. Buy Motif Magazine. Arts, entertainment, and more here in the city of Providence. And covering the state of Rhode Island, Motif Magazine, a proud sponsor of this year's WXN Rock Hunt, which just wrapped up for the love of Sloan taking the victory in that uh, five night rock hunt, a great event if you missed it. And by Frey Florist, Frey Florist, right around the corner from Rick here in Providence. Stop by for your flowers. Hey, it just doesn't have to be fl uh, Valentine's Day if you need any flowers. That's for sure. You always got a lovely lady to give some flowers to. They go to any time of year. That's for sure. Now, my question is to you where were you reading this from? Because I did not see our. Co thing for advertising. I am just that good with my memory. You're just <laughs> winging it right now. Yep. I love it. I that, love it. That's we are going to have an interesting game next to each other. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> it's Nick Lima and Nigel Evangelista here courtside as we get set for the 30 annual WXIN Radio versus the Anchor Newspaper Basketball Game. It's game three of this series that ongoing from year to year here in 2009. Today is the date of March uh, April 22nd, March. this game was supposed to be played in March. It was delayed for a month, and we are ready to go tonight, and we'll be back live with further pregame show coverage and the first seconds of play when we return next here on Anchor TV and 90.7 WXIN, your station, your sports.